What's on, ladies and gentlemen? My name's Ross. I like games. And today, we need to have a little bit of a look at a couple of new option cards. Except these are particularly exciting option cards, because these are the first black option cards that we've ever actually seen in the Digimon TCG. And I don't know about you, ladies and gentlemen, but that makes me rather gosh darn excited indeed. we got two to have a little bit of a look at, and stop me if you've heard this one before. Our translations come from the lovely Jason Snowjax. One of these days I'm going to say Antoine Boulet, and only people that watch my Pokemon channel are going to understand that. Sorry when that happens. Although Chosegoy have also given translations that seem pretty nice. So let's start off with Spiral Sword, and Spiral Sword is going to look a little bit familiar. It is a one-cost option card, and it reads, During this turn, one of your Digimon gains 3,000 power. One of your Digimon gains 3,000 power until the end of the turn. Oh, yeah, we've seen that for all the we've seen that for all of the colors so far i mean just the other day i showed you darkness claw which was the purple version of it and i told you that in this set we were definitely going to get a one cost black option card that gave one of your digimon an extra 1000 power i said that we had to and now we have go team the difference here of course is in the security skill you put one of your digimon with blocker to active mode now, going to the main here, it's just an extra 3,000 power, right? We, we've talked about these kind of cards a lot, so there probably isn't too much more I can add here. All I can really tell you is, an extra 3,000 power is good. It is an extra 3,000 power, whether you're attacking a resting Digimon or you're knocking out some security. And this is clearly going to be something that's really nice. There's a reason this is being printed for every color. It is very much a staple card. No, it's not going to turn the game on its head or anything silly like that. What it's going to do is give you a little bit of a boost. It's going to allow you to survive a security attack that you wouldn't survive otherwise. It's going to allow you to take out a resting Digimon that you wouldn't be taken out otherwise, etc. We're not talking some phenomenal over-the-top powerhouse card. What we're talking about is a nice staple card that everybody should have. In terms of the security card... I'm not loving it. Like, it comes out as a security on your opponent's turn, and it puts one of your Digimon with Blocker to active mode. Now, remember that as soon as your opponent's finished attacking, it goes to your turn, and when it goes to your turn, you'll have your active phase where all of your Digimon become active. So, essentially, this is good if you've got a Digimon with Blocker, and this comes out as a security card before your opponent has finished attacking. If this comes out as a security card during your opponent's last attack, it's too late to block. If this comes out as a security card after your opponent has already taken out your blocker, this is too late. It is only good if you've got a blocker at rest and your opponent isn't done attacking when they hit this. Now that could actually be amazing because let's say you've got a really powerful blocker I mean, the one that springs to mind is a War Graham on the 11,000 power blocker we looked at the other day. Also a black card, incidentally. And you block one of your opponent's attacks. And then they attack and this comes out. And then you block another one of their attacks with the same War Graham on. That would be awesome. But this doesn't have seem extremely situational. If you want a really, really cheeky combo... How about Testament? Testament is a free cost card that gives one of your Digimon blocker until the end of your opponent's next turn. So you can give a really powerful Digimon blocker using Testament. And then if this comes out as a security card, you can make them active. But that's, um, that is quite the clairvoyant powers there. Trying to guess when Spiral Sword is going to come out as an option card. It's far as a security card, as an option card. It's fine, but I don't think it's particularly amazing. I'd rather have Emerald Blades that draws you one and puts it into your hand. I'd rather have Hornbuster that rests one of your opponent's Digimon and adds it to your hand. 
still here, if this is the last attack of your opponent when this comes out, it's still not going to do anything because we're all going to be at rest probably anyway. But it's still a, it's still a nice option in that regard because resting your opponent's Digimon is good. And that's probably always going to work. Darkness Claw is still my favorite of them because it gives you plus two memory, which is a little bit dumb good. And I'm still a big fan of Gate of Destiny, which gives all of your Digimon and Security Digimon an extra 5,000 power this turn. And then puts it into your hand. Makes it way more likely your opponent's Digimon are getting taken down. Oh, and I also prefer Shadow Wing, which gives all of your Digimon security attack plus one until the end of your next turn. Yeah, this is actually my least favorite of them. Purely because if you don't have a blocker, this doesn't do anything. Or if your opponent takes out your blocker, or if it comes out as your opponent's last attack, I think it's extremely situational. But moving on to something that's actually proper job new, Hell's Grenade. Very dramatic name. A free cost option card that reads, Devolve one, one of your opponent's Digimon. That is to say, you trash one evolution source from the top of one of your opponent's Digimon. If they've got a level 6, you take it down to a level 5. If they've got a level 5, you take it down to a level 4. If they've got a level 4, you take it down to a level 3. We have seen Devolve previously, and the rule we saw then holds here. You cannot use this to take out a level 3 Digimon. If the Digimon you come up against is a level 3 Digimon, this does nothing. You cannot destroy a Digimon using this. Now, we saw this with Machine Dramon previously, which devolved two. You took two of your opponent's Digimon and removed the top two evolutions and don't get me wrong right machine dramon sounds way better and let's be clear machine dramon is way better but that is a play effect on a 12 cost level 6 which is to say you only actually get that if you play it normally paying the 12 cost that's not to say you're not going to it is to say that it is quite an investment if you plan to do so and this is a weird one here because you're not using this to destroy a Digimon. You are using this to devolve a Digimon. And that, that's fairly important. So then the question becomes, how much play are you really going to get with this? And the answer is still probably quite a bit. I mean, we've talked a lot about Diaboromon the last few days. Phenomenal card. When you attack with it, you get to basically summon a 3,000 power counter. Which is a little bit great. And it's getting people very excited. So get rid of that. And sure, maybe your opponent has another Diaboromon waiting to go. But one of the great things about this here is that your opponent has to have it ready to go. There's none of this, it goes back to their hand, they can re-evolve it, Malarkey. It gets trashed. So firstly, they've got to have one that they haven't used so far. And secondly, they've got to actually be able to draw into it. That War Greymon I showed you earlier that's got Reboot, makes this half active during your opponent's active phase, and Blocker, you had to take that down to a level 5. Now, the reality is, when you take it down to a level 5, you're taking it down to War Greymon. And War Greymon is still a nice card. It actually still does have... Oh, Metal Greymon, sorry. It still does have Reboot. And it may well have evolved from Greymon, which means it has jamming. Okay. Which means it's not KO'd by security Digimon. I get that. I do. But even if you just take it down to Metal Greymon, you've still reduced it by 4,000 power, which is quite a lot. And you've taken away the security attack plus one that they would have had had they stuck as Metal Greymon. So actually, I'm kind of alright with this. Like, no, it's not a perfect solution, but it's a free cost card. If you want to just take down any card, play Gaia Force. It's an 8 cost card, it's very expensive. You're going to pay a lot of memory. But if you want the guaranteed, ha 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 ha, I can take out anything, Gaia Force. Gaia Force is your ha 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 ha, I can take out anything card. If you want something which is just a little bit more restrained... 
but is still going to help you out quite nicely, this is it. This is the one you go for. And, and that's all right. It's a free cost card. It's not perfect. But the fact of the matter is, if you're taking a level 6 down to a level 5, that is going to be a worse card. If you're taking a level 5 down to a level 4, that's going to be a worse card. It is unlikely that you're just going to be completely and utterly wrecking your opponent's board entirely and just taking out everything they've got and all of that. What's far more likely is you're going to be taking away a bit of a security tack or taking away some other skill or lowering the power a little bit. But a lot of the time, that's going to be enough. A lot of the time, that is going to be all you need to give yourself a nice little advantage. And in that regard, yeah. Let's do this, ladies and gentlemen. Let's do this. I'm a fan of this card. No, I don't think it's some kind of spectacular uber card. But I do think there are going to be plenty of times where you're sat there opposite a level 6. And this just gives you the answer that you need. So that's what I think about these two new cards, but I'd be kind of excited to know what you think about these two new cards. So let me know in the comment section, would you go nuts? Me nice. And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi. That's where we talk Digimon and a whole bunch of other games. And please do consider checking out patreon.com slash ptcgradio, where you can support the channel, get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff. But by far the most important thing as always... Look after yourselves till next time, would ya? Thank you very much for watching. My name's Ross, and you've been watching Wassy Plays.